talk, we're going to get to one of the final uh, exponent rules that we have for grade 9 math, but there are more exponent rules we will look at. Uh, this one is sort of a continuation of the power of a product rule. It is, in fact, called the power of a quotient rule. Now, um, I will do some examples at the end of this math talk, but um, I'll do a follow-up math talk that involves uh, possibly a whole blend of the exponent rules that we've done to this point. So just lots and lots of examples. So that'll be coming up later. All right, we begin with the question, write 3 over 7, a fraction, a rational number, to the exponent 4 as a quotient of two powers. Well, to do this, I'm first going to look at what this looks like in expanded form. So I'm going to start by expanding the 3 over 7 raised to the exponent 4. That really means that I've got 3 over 7 multiplied by 3 over 7 multiplied by 3 over 7 multiplied by 3 over 7. So I have 3 over 7 written four times all multiplied together. Well, from what we understand about multiplying fractions, we multiply numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators. So it looks like this. The four threes multiplied together in the numerator divided by the four sevens multiplied together in the denominator. If we were to return this now to exponential form, we understand that four threes multiplied together is written in this sort of shorthand way, 3 to the exponent 4. And that's over 7 to the exponent 4. The four sevens multiplied together would be 7 to the exponent 4. Now, you may take a look at these and say, wait a second, there must have been a faster way to get to this. You look at the 4 here, you look at the 4 here, and you see the 4 here. And you would be correct. That 4 is given to both the numerator and the denominator to create our final answer. And so we have this rule. The rule looks like this. a over b raised to the exponent n is simply a to the exponent n divided by b to the exponent n. A pretty simple straightforward rule and it reminds us a little bit of the power of a product rule in our previous video. Let's try some examples, and we'll be careful because we might need to use a combination of rules at the same time. Here we go. So once again, I've got highlighted at the top here your uh, rule that says a divided by b raised to the exponent n is equal to a to the exponent n divided by b to the exponent n. So in each of these uh, questions, we're going to write uh, as a quotient of powers. Um, in fact, the ones that are purely numerical, I'll even evaluate at the end. Here we go. 2 over 5 raised to the exponent 4. Well, I'll treat that as 2 to the exponent 4. We give the 2, that numerator, the exponent 4, and the 5, the exponent 4. And if I were to ask to come up with a numerical answer, 2 to the exponent 4 is 16. 5 to the exponent 4 is 625. So in fact, I've evaluated at that point. Let's try the next one. In this case, negative 3 over 7 raised to the exponent 3. I give the numerator, and the entire numerator, that is the whole negative 3, that exponent of 3, and the denominator, that entire exponent of 3. If I wanted to work that out to a numerical answer, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27 and the 7 times the 7 times the 7 is 343. Now we try some questions that have some variables in them. The, the process is no different. This is 4 to the exponent 2 over m to the exponent 2. Again, I can evaluate the 4. So that is 16 divided by m squared. Further to that, we can get uh, expressions entirely full of um, variables. In this case, a divided by b times c all raised to the exponent 8. Well, it doesn't change. We're going to give that 8 to the a, to the b, and to the c. Everything will re receive that exponent 8, and it will look like this. a raised to the exponent 8 divided by 
B, a raised to the exponent 8. C, raised to the exponent 8. Question's complete. In this third example, we have 2x squared divided by y to the exponent 5, all raised to the exponent 7. Once again, we'll give that exponent to everything. So the 2 gets the exponent of 7. The x squared gets the exponent of 7. And the y to the 5 receives that exponent of 7. Well, the 2 to the 7 is 128. The x squared raised to the exponent 7. Well, we use our power of a power rule. That means that I take these two and multiply them. So I'm going to take 2 times 7. That's how that rule worked from a previous video. So that becomes x to the exponent 14. And finally, I'll apply the same rule to y to the exponent 5 to the 7. I will do 5 times 7 to get my finishing exponent, which is 35. Last one. It even works with our negative exponents. I would write this as m to the exponent negative 3 raised to the exponent negative 10 divided by y to the exponent negative 2 raised to the exponent negative 10. Again, applying that power of a power rule, I'm going to multiply these two exponents together and I'm going to multiply these two exponents together. And so my final answer becomes m to the exponent 30 divided by y to the exponent 20. Nothing more to it, and I'm out of time.